When you start up Zinnia, you'll see two main areas in the top left. The first is your journals, and this is where all of your journals and pages live. And the second is studio. Underneath the studio, you'll find news, updates, contents, everything new and exciting coming to and available inside of Zinnia. For example, the content under the brand new October update is here. If you tap into that article, you can read more about what's happening and also get a sneak peek at all of the new content that's a part of that update. You'll also see quick guides, featured artists where you can learn more about them and see their special artists and categories. And at the very bottom of the page, you'll see categories. And this will show you everything available to you inside of Zinnia. Let's go ahead and explore some of these. Underneath templates, you'll find a group of pre-made pages and spreads that you can easily add to your pages and get up and running in no time. If you only like a part of these templates, you can now ungroup them, delete what you don't want, and keep what you do like. The sticker category is filled with elements that you can easily add to your pages inside of Zinnia. The sticker category is now also organized by themes. You can easily find groups of animals, ephemera, holidays, and so much more. And Zinnia is always adding new content to the sticker section. Underneath the collections category, you'll find group and like elements to create wonderfully aesthetic pages. These collections are already curated together with stickers, lettering, and anything else you might need to get a single page or pages all set up and ready to go. Underneath the full journals category, you'll find an entire section filled with everything you need to get started right inside of Zinnia. Tap on a journal to see what's inside of that collection and tap begin journal to get started. There's also a brand new lettering guide here where you can practice your digital handwriting. Take advantage of the brand new smoothing feature underneath the drawing tools and perfect that hand lettering. The lettering category includes pre-designed letters, numbers, titles, headers, and everything else to easily build up your pages. The journal cards category contains wonderful additions that you can easily add to your journals. Each one of these cards takes up about half a page and you can easily move them and resize them to fit your needs. The washi tape category lets you explore all of the wonderful washi tapes available to you inside of Zinnia. These are also themed by category and you can quickly add them to your pages. Underneath the text box category, this collection of designs already have text boxes built right into the stickers. Tap inside of the contents of the box to start typing. The frames category is filled with an eclectic assortment of wonderful frames to easily add to your pages. The planner icons category includes items to add to your planner like arrows, bullets and signifiers, calendars, emoticons, and a lot of other great symbols. The paper pack category are similar to journal cards, but these take up the full page of your journal spread. These paper packs work wonderfully as wallpapers and backgrounds to add wonderful layers to your pages and your journals. The dividers category is filled with patterns and designs for horizontal dividers. But like everything inside of Zinnia, you can customize these elements how you'd like to use them. Tap on an element and rotate it to create a vertical divider if you'd like instead. Don't forget that your studio is always available to you inside of your journal pages. Tap the studio icon in the top left of your page to get started and find all of the categories we just covered.